Hello everyone, I'm going to explain a sincere reflection on homelessness, uh, commitment, and uh, the challenges that people face that sleep in the street. And I'm going to do that from my bed. I slept in six below zero weather in Hamburg for um, the kickoff of our helpline in Hamburg, Germany, thanks to Fritz Kohler. And it was an amazing experience. Um, we found a dry place, uh, which was well lit and uh, with a lot of people moving in and out. So it was warmer than it could be, and it was drier than it could be. And it was much lighter than it probably would have been better for us to uh, really, you know, to get some rest. But um, let's just say that we did not sleep much, maybe... I don't, we didn't sleep at all, really. Maybe closing our eyes, kind of drifting away, you know, 15, 20 minutes here and there. But let's just say we didn't sleep properly. The next day was very difficult um, to function normally. Um, we were chipping away at things. It was not uh, easy at all. But, you know, we were just trying to stay awake. Um, then we, we left, obviously to come back to our life with a home and a bed, uh, you know, loved ones. And, um, you know, we got back to Barcelona at midnight. We um, got home at one, we showered, which was much needed. And then at two, we fell asleep. Now, uh, I had my alarm set for eight o'clock because I had a meeting at eight, sorry, nine and another one at 9.30. And I thought I would be fine. I turned my alarm off when it went off at eight very quickly um, and didn't give too much thought and I was in deep sleep. It was amazing to have a bed, a pillow, to be comfortable and uh, in a safe environment, um, which I didn't have the night before. I then woke up at 9.38 which was obviously after my first meeting at 9 and my second meeting at 9.30. I immediately sent a message to apologize to the first person. And the second person I called, is a group actually, um, and let them know that I would be there at 10. And I went very quickly. It was an amazing experience. It was a social impact from breakfast um, for a social impact from initiative. A beautiful couple uh, from India living in San Francisco on their 25th uh, year wedding anniversary. And they, you know, they helped the homeless community there uh, in California, also in India. And it was a great experience. And then I headed home and my head is still exploding. Now my reflection and question to other people is, am I irresponsible? Um... Did I want to miss those meetings? Could I have made them? Um, I would argue that I am a responsible person. Um, I would argue that I wanted to be there. But my body wouldn't let me because it had to recover. And I'm still in bed and my head is killing me. And luckily I'm able to pay for medicine and I have taking ibuprofen. I don't know how long that will take to kick in if it works. Now I'm from in a very position, I'm in a very privileged position um, because I have a comfortable bed, a loving family, and, um, and can do that. This was one night and I missed one meeting that I had to change. I was able to do it, but I had to change it. And the second meeting I was able to do, but it was late. I spent one night homeless in Hamburg. Imagine the individuals that spend 30 nights or 365 nights or even more than a thousand nights. Is it irresponsible if they're not able to function properly because their body and their mind minds are destroyed? Um, I think everyone should think about that because many people judge others 
Oh, I got a little bit of light there. Um, many people judge others very easily without ever experiencing that. And, you know, my conclusion, I've slept in the street many times. I've experienced homelessness myself. But uh, Hamburg was just a reminder of how truly difficult it is to give your best when your mind and your body doesn't get the rest it needs. And, you know, uh, this is what drives our work. I used to sleep out one to five days every month. I stopped doing that because of COVID and now our only sleep out really is uh, in Davos during the World Economic Forum, but we have occasionally slept out to raise awareness and also remind ourselves, you know, what people are really going through. So um, I hope that's something that people keep in mind <clears throat> next time they uh, potentially judge someone who not functioning properly. Um, it's not that I don't want to be up behind my computer right now and working. My body, my mind, my soul are destroyed. And that was one night. And many, many people, you know, specifically in Europe, 895,000 people are experiencing homelessness right now, which has increased from 700,000. And winter is the hardest time of the year. Many people actually die because of that because uh, cold weather um, and I you know I would just like to invite everyone to think about that um, and then also donate and support the organizations that you connect with that that can uh, improve the situation you know we'd be obviously happy if, if you donated and supported our organization at homeless entrepreneur and also if you donate and support other organizations that are working to uh, end homelessness uh, in a meaningful long-term manner uh, by empowering people made of potential out of homelessness. So uh, this was longer than I expected, but I think it's the time it needed. It's probably about the same amount of time that I actually slept properly uh, two nights ago in, in Hamburg, Germany. And I thought uh, I thought it was something worth sharing. So... Um, just want to send all my love and support to all the people experiencing homelessness in Europe and around the world and also all the people that are providing support because it takes two to tango and it takes a community to change the world. So love you guys and I'm going to try to get some rest to feel better. Um, thanks again for your support and uh, wish you a wonderful day.